almost like the energy bounces off all the walls out here. It's almost like it just happened. Michael Brown Sr., his family and supporters gather for the seventh year at the exact spot where his son was shot and killed by police. Um, it's always going to be a legacy for Mike Brown because Mike Brown brought, brought people together. We stand out here, we stand in solidarity, you know, because of what happened. Congresswoman Cori Bush and Ferguson Mayor Ella Jones showed their support as part of the change that's happened in leadership since 2014. The police department has made some changes. We have seen that. The city council has made changes. Um, we have an amazing um, activist from the Ferguson movement on the council in Fran Griffin. Griffin. Um, we have the first black mayor um, in uh, Ella Jones. Um, and uh, I know that uh, the people this community feels is starting to really feel hurt. Vice President of Ferguson Business Association Joshua Ray Davis was in his office on West Florissant Avenue that day and he's seen the impact on business after the riots. Over 60 percent of a lot of those small businesses uh, went away because of the the mark on our character and the mark uh, or smear that happened after the upright and after the Mike Brown uh, death. Davis led efforts with business owners who stayed to rebuild Ferguson. Seven years later, he says there's progress. With development coming in, with the Boys and Girls Club coming in, to giving the youth another alternative, I think that's the positive thing, and a positive swing or pivot that comes out of all of the uprising and melee and, and the area that, that just went, went left. There's an event tonight at the Ferguson Police Department for Michael Brown at 7 p.m. You can find more information on donating to the Michael Brown Foundation on KSDK.com. In Ferguson, Pepper Baker, five on your side.